Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So now, we are in the process of making a magnum torch. So let's carry on with that. I've actually synthesised some more nether wart rather than waiting for it to grow. But let's have a look outside. It should be growing what we've got. And what I haven't, I've also prepared some, some bottles of water which we did last time. You see, it's, it actually goes up fairly fast, this stuff. I think that's probably mature. It is. You can right click that and pick up that. So that's good. So we, the nether wart nether won't be a problem anymore. So now, next thing, what we need to do. So now we've got some awkward potion. Three awkward potion, which is good. In fact, we could actually take these out of here. And take the next three bottles of water. I'll move some stuff into here, by the way. And put those into here like that. Awkward potion, water, water, water. And then we need some, just one of those will do. Try again. So now, a magnum torch. So we need a potion of healing, which is basically blistering melon, which is one piece of melon surrounded by gold nuggets. That's no big deal. Let's go and make that. We also need some glowstone. Let's take two of those because we'll need two, I reckon. So have we got any melon in here? Oh, yes, we have a look. Now, have we got any gold nuggets? 23, enough. One of those, that's good. What else do we need? While we're here, let's go this one. Again, redstone, what's this one? Oh, a gas tier. I can't do a gas tier, can I? Oh, maybe. Noblium, highly reactive. And yetibium. I don't think I can make those in any shape or form at the moment. Oh, well, that's a problem. I don't think there's any other way of getting gas here, so let's just double check it. Oh, dear. I didn't think about that. Oh, we can kill gas, but we don't have any gas. We could get some squids and kill some. Hmm. Well, if we put squids into witch water, that would turn into ghasts, and we could get them that way and maybe get gas here. Oh dear, that's put a bit of a, a block on what I wanted to do. Never mind, let's just finish off this one potion that we can do. Hmm. That's a bit of a shame, isn't it? We get some good potions out of this anyway, so it's not... It's a shame we can't do that at the moment. I shall have to think of a way of making some squids. I hope they will spawn on the moon. I'm not sure they will, to be honest with you. So there we have a potion of instant healing. Put some clothes down it, so we've got some potion of instant healing, instant health too. Which is this one. In a few seconds we should have it. The reason I'm waiting here is because I want to basically wait for those. Yep. We could put these three out of the way back into here again. Ah, okay. Well that's a shame. You know, I was pretty certain I could do this. Never mind. That's my mistake. I do apologize. Right. So the next thing I am going to make is we are going to do some quests. And I'm going to get rid of at least two quests today. So what we need here, let's go over here. Of course this won't be running, as it never does. The quintuple compressed cobblestone three. Quadruple compressed cobblestone and triple compressed four. Okay, that'll do. I think that's what we need. It might not be enough, but oh, probably will be actually thinking about it. Blocks of diamonds. Now what we need is we want to make some face we want to make a face plate. So that's a bedrockium. So we need to make a bedrockium faceplate and a bedrockium drum. Now we've got one ingot, so we need to make 
another five ingots of bedrockium. So let's do that first of all. So that's basically this recipe. That gives me one ingot. What have we got here? Quadruple compressed. Quintuple compressed. Let me just take this out of here like that. I can leave that in there and just do that around. So it give me 31 of those. Now, how many do we need? Let's do eight of those. We'll give me nine, eight, seven, two. That's too many, I think. Nine, four, thirty-six. Try that. We can always put them back again if we need to have craft them back again. Let's shove these into the system. And take out this one. Two, three, four, five. So we've got five ingots for that, and we need another eight ingots. One, two, three. All right, so what have we run out of? Quadruple compressed cobblestone. Okay. Let's come very slowly over here, because this is these bedrock key ingots are very heavy. And pick up the sixth one we wanted from in there. Where's that gone to? Here. And let's make that bedrockium drum. So, let's clear that off. So, we want to do this one. So, we just need some gold pressure plates, which need two of those one, two. And then we need the iron crucible, one of those, like that. And then we should be able to make this one bedrock game drum and I could put these two ingots uh, what should I do with these two ingots we need more we need another six ingots so now that means let's have a look we've got 12 triple compressed and three quadruple compressed so we need some more quadruple compressed so we need let's have a look at the re recipe for the bedrock game. Where has it gone to? Oh. Let's have a look at the recipe of that. I'll take them out actually. Let's press R. I'll try again. So we need one, two, three, four. So we need four, six, we need twenty-four triple and Therefore, we also need to have six of these, 24 quadruple. So what have we got at the moment? We've only got 12 triple. Let's just do that. That should make 21, 30. So we need another 23 of those. Now, what have I, why am I so heavy? I've got these two good rocky mingots on me, haven't I? Let's put those there. Now let's also collect the quest. Oops, wrong one. Let's let's quit that. Do that quest. Now I think that is part of elements. So we should be able to detect this one now. And with a bit of oh, we get some nice fluid storage. Let's detect it and claim that one. Done. Now that gives us some more fluid storage. So let's put that away to start with. Into here because these things are really expensive. And we got this titanium dioxide, which, to be honest with you, is only um, bone meal. So isn't that exciting? I've got no space to store it anywhere, of course. Whoops. Let's put it in here. I have to remember where I put it. So, right, we're downstairs. I want to go and get some more of this. So we need 23, which is basically three sets of... Oops, wrong one. Try from this side. What have I got there? Double compressed, one sex, duple compressed, brilliant. That gives me quintuple. We don't want quintuple, we want quadruple, so we need that. I think we just need 27 of those. Yes, that'll be more than enough. Let's put that back. Let's go upstairs and make the next bit. I think I can actually do the faceplate without having to smelt it or anything like that. So let's have a look for the uses of this. We should find it fairly easy. Probably the easiest way to find it actually. This one. Shift that out. What are? Yes, I didn't put those into there to die. 
Oh, hold on a second. Yep, put those into there. Do that again. One, two, three. That's four bedrock in. I don't know how many I've got actually now. Two more. So we just need two more of these. Like that. Now these should, I hope, be able to make a face plate. So let's go to the pattern. Part builder here. We haven't got a part builder for that yet. So let's move, that's probably not enough paper. Let's get some more paper. Struggling very slowly here. Oh, maybe that is enough. Nope, rubbish, talking rubbish. Let's go, we don't want, we don't want a paper faceplate. We want a bit rocky in faceplate. So, stencil table faceplate. Make one of those. Go to the part builder. Let's put the faceplate into that with the bedrocky mingots. And I don't get it. What do we need? Material cost eight. Bedrocky mingots eight. Maybe I have to smelt this. Let's try smelting it. If I'm going to smelt, that's going to probably be in the Magna Crucible. Let's have a look. Usage. Yes, I reckon it's going to be in here. So let's put this into here and let's we're going to use put it in when we've got it. Hmm. I'm struggling here. Look, <laughs> where's my RR pickaxe? I might go a bit faster with my <laughs> RR pickaxe in my hand. There we go, a little bit faster. <laughs> so funny. Right, Magna Crucible. What have we got? The configuration for this. So it's only got input on the side here. Let's get that out there. Okay, good. Now we're going to bring that into here. So we want that on the input side and then we want the output side here. So it's now gone. Shift click that off. So we should have a bit of fluid there. So now what we can do with this one. Hmm. Basically I want to get it into the system. I should be able to get that into the system. No problem at all. Fine, let's just do it that way. I've got an import bus on here, or have I not got an import bus? So the import bus, perfect. So we just need to set that to an output and toggle that out, and then it's gone into the system. So we should have eight ingots of bedrockium in the system. Now we've got that, so that's good. So we just need some gold cast to make the faceplate. So we need some cobblestone. Let's just get some ordinary cobblestone. Come along here. Let's make the faceplate now out of cobblestone. Good one, faceplate. Get rid of those. Let's put the faceplate now onto here like this. Oops, wrong one. Take my our pick. I can't do that one. Let's go and get some gold selected. I need a bucket of gold. Buckets are in here. If I want two buckets, I want one bucket of gold and a bucket of bedrockium. Ooh. That's okay, I think I can cope. So one one bucket of bedrockium. Oh, doesn't go into the bucket. Oh no. How am I going to do that then? Should be enough. Hmm. That's copper, nickel. Oh we've got no gold in the system. Oh dear. Oh, probably not actually, because I've been. <laughs> well, that's not very bright, is it? I've done. All, I've converted all my gold into gold blocks in here, I think. So let's just. Uh, yes, I have. Oh, I've probably got enough in here. No, don't think so. Let's just turn this off. Flush it off. But I've got a bucket of gold in here, so we can use this one. Well. We do actually have enough to do this, so let's just put the bucket of gold in here like that. That should make this cast. That work. Doesn't look like it's made a cast yet, but it's hard to device online. Oh, that's strange. I think that was just a visual bug. Let's clear that off. Take it out. 
Oh, yes, that's right. We got the cast. Oh, we got the stone faceplate back. Okay, yes, it was just being it was being hidden by the stone faceplate. So let's put the stone faceplate in here with the others. I should do it like that, shouldn't I? And then we got our cast. So somehow or other, I've got to get the bedrock cube into here. Yeah. And I don't know how to do that. Whoops, I think that was a bit of a mistake. Bedrock him. It won't go into a bucket. Will it go into a refractory block? One in there. Oh, I think they're in here if there are any. Yeah, we've got plenty of refactory blocks in here. So what am I going to do to do this faceplate? That's a definitely an interesting challenge. I don't know. Of course you can't click anything on this thing, can you? When you've got that in your hand. And I either with that one, so let's put this one in. Can I put that into there? Yes I can. Mm-hmm. I wonder. I have another idea. Maybe it's not possible to do that in here. Let's just take it out. Or let's just see if we can actually push this into that. Oh, we can. So it's got... Oh, I think that's going to work. And with a bit of luck, we have a bedrock in faceplate. Wow, there we go. How about that then? One bed rocking faceplate. Let's look at that quest. Done that one. We should be able to detect this one. So we've got our experience and a loot chest. Claim that. Wow, that's a hard work that was. What have we got in the loot chest? Some actually not some brilliant rewards for that one. She's got some Rooter Born stuff, which we've actually already got. Well, well, that was a bit of a shame, wasn't it? I, got some, I made some more speed grades, speed upgrades while I was doing things. I was a bit disappointed with that, to be honest with you. <laughs> I was hoping to get some more AE stuff, but no, that's not. So this is now full. This is now full. And this is now full. So we now have a reasonably good supply of redstone, but I'm not re-importing this in yet. And the reason I'm not re Importing it in because it probably uses up all the resources I've got, but we can easily take this with us. Let's go and put this stuff upstairs and put it away somewhere as well. Oh, that was a little challenge for me that one, wasn't it? Let's put these buckets together. Well, so what's next on the agenda so we'll, can, we, can we do any more of these quests wrong place that's done didn't op open at any oh yes this one basically we can't open up until we've done this one we need our 64 machine holes and this is the silicon one again so we need some silicon dioxide which we should have plenty of loads of it in here let's take it out Let's put the silicon into here like that. What we need is a silicon coming into here like this. So we remove the other materials from in here. And we'll put them away. What have we got? Nitrogen and which might go into this chest. That's fantastic. And there's hydrogen chloride, which you can't put anywhere there yet. We can put it into here for the time being. So let's go into our, our system now and just check that book here. This is this one. What we want to do is make these silicon plates. And that's that one. So it's just two silicon in the top. Like this. And that should give us a load of plates. How much are we going to get? 62. 31 plates. Actually, this should be. I thought this should have, I was going to say this should have been 32. Now that should be enough to make the next item. So we got in here. Take those 19 with us. 
So what I'm going to do between episodes this time is definitely finish this off. Because it's just one of those quests that's going to drag on. You'll see here I've actually got enough stuff to make some uh, an ME storage component of a 1-1. One, one. Yep, good, we can do that one. So we can put these in here. Let's use a full stack of that, I think. Or is it 32? I think it's 32. We'll see in a second. It takes a while. Let's go and get the rest of those silicon. They should have come through here now. Let's put the next stack in. Let's do it again. I'll let that run through and then come along and put these into here. Oops. And then go and get the next set. I'm not sure how many. Yep. Put that into there. Come and collect the oxygen out of here. I think there's a shortcut key for this, but I don't know what it is. Sixty-four, good. Sixty-four plates, so we can get the next one done. So this is a bit of a repetitive process, and I'm not exactly sure if it's well. We can automate it. Let's do that. There's our first one. Oh, no, that's been brought into the system. Okay, good. So we'll do this now. So what we're going to do, this, I didn't show you this last time, and I should have done really. I feel a bit guilty about it. So we want a pattern from this one. Fairly straightforward, just one Certis Quartz or Charged Certis Quartz Crystal and some iron. Now we even use this pure, that's even better. So we get a cut. I'll make a couple of patterns like that. So we want to make them, put them into the patent terminal here. This one, and it's a craft recipe I think no it's not it's a process recipe so what we're going to do let's have a look at those holes we've got 30 we're actually not doing too badly on these let's have a look at the recipe of these now so it's 32 of each okay good so let's put this in here as an output so let's go and get 32 plates from both types. I'll put 32 of those. Now, I haven't got enough in that, it'll stop. Let me just make sure I've got enough silicon dioxide over here. Let's decompose this. Oh, yep. Yeah. Wait for us to get our 32. It's basically, it's one stack, isn't it? Take the oxygen out. There we go. So now I've got our 32 of each. So now, oh machine, let's make this say, okay, we've got 32 of those, and it doesn't matter which order they're in, 32 of those, we'll make one of these. Let's take this recipe now, and go and put this pattern into this ME interface. Like that. We already I've already created one for cells. Let's put that in there like that. So now we can order some. We'll leave this selected and we'll order get some more of these now. Let's put these into here like that. In fact that'll automatically go through as soon as they arrive into here. So what we need to do now is to take these plates we've got into this in here and put them into the system. All place of course. That's this. I might have enough with this lot actually thinking about it. So I just put something else I didn't want to put in the system there. I don't remember what it was. That's so now we've got 704 dense iron plates. And we want to make these. Now how many holes have we got? 32. So we're halfway there, 32 minus what we got in here. Of course, it's just going to go straight through, aren't they? Let's take these out of here and put those into the system. So what we're going to order is 32 more of these plates. In fact, it's going to tell me we haven't got enough. So let's have a look 
at how many is going to tell us when we do it. So let's go to our crafting here. We want to order 32 of these. Actually, it's easy. Just type 32 in here. Like next. So we're missing. All oh, right, we've got. We're quite a long way away from these. By the looks, so we need 800. No, no. Yes, we need 800 of each. And now we need 1,005. So 1,005 is quite a few. How many stacks is that? So that would be 10 stacks plus probably about 12 stacks. So this would probably be about 14 stacks. So that basically means, well, actually it's fairly straightforward. Here, I need 32 of these. 32 silicon dioxide. This is an MBE fluid bus. Let's remove it. Let's decompose that. Let's put an ME export bus into that. I might not have them in here actually. I think I've been got them in this chest over here. Nope. I've got them on me. Export bus, good. Let's remove this. like shift right click and let's put this one on here like that let's put into the silicon there so any silicon dioxide will come into the system so let's put this into the system now see what we can take out of here like that that's now full you can nice with the caches you don't pull any more out than you can actually carry so let's shift these into the system Okay, good. So we can come along here now, and that should be decomposing these. It is. It's probably not fast enough, as we can see. Let's just put one speed upgrade in there. It makes a huge difference. And as you can see, it's now it's already reached the limit. So we can take out a stack of those, remove the oxygen, Put the oxygen in there and carry on with this process so that's what i'm going to do between episodes so i think that's probably enough for this episode let's get out of the way of those things and i will see you next time when we're going to complete this this quest because it's one that's been dragging on for a, quite a long time so until then bye for now <laughs>